WWOZ is proud to celebrate 300 years of New Orleans history with this tricentennial music moment. In the middle of New Orleans, there's a green space on Perdido Street beside Duncan Plaza. No marker, just some parked cars. But about 100 years ago, it was the site of one of the most important moments in jazz history. Louis Armstrong was about four or five years old, living with his mother at the corner of Liberty and Perdido, just a couple of steps away from a building that stood right here. That building was the Union Sons Hall. Sunday mornings it served as the first Lincoln Baptist Church. But come nighttime, the Union Sons Hall was the home of jazz bands and they called it Funky Bud Hall. The nickname was from a song called Funky Butt, the best known number by trumpeter Buddy Bolden, who played here in those days. The words of the song are about somebody making a stink and having to throw open a window. And at the Funky Butt, they had to open the windows when the crowds were dancing to the Buddy Bolden band. Buddy was the first king of jazz, and he was at the peak of his fame, and he played loud, so loud people said you could hear him across the river. So with the windows open, young Louis Armstrong could hear Buddy playing night after night after night. There are no known recordings of Buddy Bolden. People who heard him said he played loud and rough, but he was also called the sweetest trumpet player in the world. He was one of the original creators of jazz. He had charisma, women fought over him, and the crowds loved him. It didn't last. By June of 1907, Buddy was committed to a mental hospital. He spent the rest of his life there and never played publicly again. Time went by, the Funky Butt Hall lost its nickname, and people forgot about Buddy. Union Sons Hall became a full-time church, and in the 1950s, the whole neighborhood was torn down to put up government buildings, including New Orleans City Hall, which is right across the street. But Louis Armstrong never forgot what he learned by listening night after night to those windows they had to throw open at Funky Butt Hall. For WWOZ, I'm Norman Robinson. This tricentennial music moment was made possible by the New Orleans Tourism Marketing Corporation, the Derbis Foundation, Hancock Whitney Bank, and Hilton Hotels and Resorts. Special thanks to the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation. To learn more, go to WWOZ.org and keep listening to WWOZ for more Tricentennial Music Moments.